So we haven't really explained anything yet. If you're new, we did the 15 inch FTS on mine. This one we're solid axle swapping. He's already got his front diff out of an early 2000 Ford. He's already got his truss welded on that and everything. He's already got the rear Ford axle underneath the back. He went ahead and did that a while back because his 10 bolt went out on him. So he went ahead and moved his leaf spring purchase out and everything. That's in there, that's good. Now we just need to put his new 10 inch leaf springs in there. And then we're gonna strip down the front. And these we hadn't talked about at all. He had a cradle made of a backyard fab that just came in a couple weeks ago. So once I can get to him, bring him out in the light, I'll show y'all those a little bit better. But today we're mostly gonna try to get the rear done, get that set up so it's nose diving, and then we'll jack up the front so it's level and we'll start tearing out this rough country. Yeah. Holy fuck. Oh. My dad left it. Once you go. Oh my gosh, I forgot how heavy this axle was. What I could do. not the final ride height on the rear end of this truck we're just getting it set to where we can start on the front now i got more rear parts coming in so it'll be a lot more level these are just the least springs he's playing on running and that's pretty much it i'm on my back so. i was about to say these least springs are still <laughs> <laughs> jesus he's got bigger blocks on the way and a flip kit right so by the way, I don't know if we've said on the channel yet, he did buy a set of 44s. A lot of y'all probably saw that video. Me and him both bought 44s at the same time. But after I got my truck done, his little competitive ass sold his 44s and planning on buying 46s. This thing is nose diving like a mouth. I do not want to tear the rest of those down. All I want to do is put your cradle on. <laughs> it's the only thing I'm, I technically could do that. It's the only thing I'm excited about. But now that this is on, I can jump up here and show you this cradle. The main pieces of the cradle and then this overlay is going to sit on top of it just like that. Obviously, all this is going to be powder coated, but we're going to throw everything on the truck, get it running and driving.
I was literally just gonna drive out. I have a thing on. I don't care what you got, Michael. I got a fucking big one. See the bolts down there? Might be it right there. Sorry. Here we go. It's going to be right here, is what it's going to be. Jesus. Oh my gosh. Look how close you are. All right, that's where you're mounting it. Look how close you are to the ground, bro. We got everything done that we came down here to do today. Got the tips cut off. Rear is mostly done. We just wanted to be able to set it down, get it closer to the front rod height. Like we said, that's not final rod height back there. And then we got the complete lift off the front. So now he can come down here and start cutting everything down, clean up the frame, drilling holes for the cradle, pull over tabs on the frame, frame plates that he got to smooth that out. All right, so we know it's really hard to be able to tell like height and how big something is on camera, but just so you get kind of an idea, this is eye level to my truck. It's looking like Michael's truck is gonna come out being taller than this with his 38 still on the truck, and then he's getting 46s pretty soon. So his truck's gonna be absolutely massive. We got a pretty good start on it today. We should be able to get this truck knocked out pretty quick. 